it's Holly and I am here in Charlotte, Michigan at the Yarn Garden. This is the back of the building, but the front of the building is just as cute. And we're going to go in and hang out for a couple hours and hopefully meet a couple of my pineapple people. So come on in.
Okay, so we are here in, they say, is it Charlotte, Charlotte? It's Charlotte. Charlotte. I say it wrong. Everybody on YouTube has been yelling at me, but it's okay. At the <laughs> Yarn Garden, which you guys, you saw through the, like, the videos that Mr. Pineapple shot. It's amazing. And we're here with Lindsay. Are you the owner? I am. I am the head gardener. She's the head gardener here at the Yarn Garden, which is amazing. This place is so cute. Oh, thank you. So why don't you tell us a bit about your store and how it became the Yarn Garden? Okay. I actually will be celebrating 12 years as the owner in the spring. Okay. You do not look old enough to have a 12-year-old store. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was a child when I took over <laughs> right out of college. Okay. Um, so yeah, I took over. I actually bought the business uh, from my friend Kim. Uh, we were around the corner, kind of on a side street here, um, and I will be celebrating two years in my new location here. This is right on like Main Street, and it's like perfect. It's so cute. You can't miss it. It's adorable. It is bright green, which it is, is awesome. My it, favorite we were, color is we, I turned off my GPS, and I was like, I'm just going to look for the green building. And I'm like, yeah. oh, there it is! <laughs> Front like and it. back. We've got parking in, in the back. It's the same color. Yes, we have lots of parking in the back, so there's always room at the yarn garden. Come. Yes, absolutely. And you, and you um, as far as like the yarn you stock, you have like a nice little diverse thing. You have some Michigan dyers and stuff too, because you know, Michigan pride. No, well, we have such a rich um, variety of you do. artists in Michigan. We do. we do. And the store here has a lot of nice stuff. They have everything from. I'm just gonna pick up something. You're like salads and stuff like this <laughs> and they have lots of like beautiful speckles and mm -hmm. stuff you just you saw when in the video that's been shot already lots of gorgeous yarn. and do you do classes and stuff here or? I do I do although um, classes took a little bit of a back seat for me um, I had twin girls uh, they'll be five in February I, I have twins they you have nowhere. to come here <laughs> <laughs> to see the adorable photo of when they were a baby up by the register. I'm not going to tell you. Just come and see it. It's so cute. Yes. Makes so me want twins. When when I had my girls, that was one of the things that um, I kind of felt like I could give up a little bit was teaching the, the craft to kind of help with that balance between life and work. Yeah. Because kids, um, right? Because kids. <laughs> yes. And they did come to work with me for the first 14 months of their life. That had to be um, adorable. Just and then in, well, like, kill babies here. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Other people thought it was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I, however, no. <laughs> Mommy was like, oh, just stay home with daddy. Well, <laughs> at 14 months old, they yeah, were mobile. Active. And, and so I bet they thought the, the yarn end. was great. They do. Just Although great. now they're like, they've grown up with it, so it's no big deal. Now they're like, like oh, whatever. It's more just yarn. Right? Right? Just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's my kids are like, oh, we're going to another yarn store, mom. Come Ooh. on. And I'm like, no, dude, I come into a yarn store, and you guys did not get this on camera because I didn't let him. But I was literally running around, and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I think one of your customers like kept looking at me. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I do this every store I go to. <laughs> I'm like a big kid, but it's right. so pretty here. And um, are there like special hours you're open here? Uh, yeah. So Tuesday through Friday, it's noon to six. Because um, I'm mom in the morning right now, right. and then head gardener in head the gardener. afternoon. <laughs> Do you have other employees here? I don't. It's just me. Just you? Yeah. That's I awesome, admit. though. But it's so cute. I love everything. I love all the little, like, hidden little gnomes and stuff like that. It's really cute, you guys. You have to come check it out here. I love, and you do trunk shows, right? Yeah, yes, I do lots of trunk shows. One I'm of, here today with the Cat Sock Favors trunk show, man. Yes. One of the things that I love about being a, a small business owner is helping to support other local businesses. Mm -hmm. So I do whatever I can to help get people's names out and, you know, encourage them and help them uh, I grow think their that's business. Great. That's one of the things I want to do is help, like, the local stores, because, like, I mean, we all love Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I mean, sometimes you got to get stuff there. Absolutely. But coming to stores like this, you're helping her and her twins. Right. <laughs> they need stuff. They're twins. They need two of everything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <Buy yarn. laughs> well, and, and when you come to a local yarn store, any any of your local yarn stores, you're going to get someone that knows stuff, stuff about knitting, about the yarn. And um, they're so, like... Not just you, but every store I've been to, everybody's so nice and helpful. Just to ask them questions. They're, I'm sure you're more than happy to help people pick yeah. out yarn and I do know. stuff. But you don't need that. Just run around and buy it all. It's so pretty. <laughs> one of each. We one can get them set up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I ever hit the lotto, I'm here for one of each, all right? Don't awesome. tell them how. <laughs> Honey, we got to stop playing the lotto. <laughs> mm. but thank you so much for letting us come and hang out in your wonderful store. And we'll definitely be back because... 
I don't have a local yarn store where I live, so if I have to drive, I might as well come to the yarn garden. Absolutely. What about online? Do you have oh yes, online? you do have it online. Yes. Yep. Yes. Is it just the yarngarden.com? Yarngardenmichigan.com. Michigan spelled out or am yep. I? Everything spelled out. Spelled out. Yarngardenmichigan.com. I will put a link below in the video, you guys. You have to come check it out. Or at least get online and check it out. Yeah. And enjoy. It's so adorable. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Woven Art Yarn Shop, and we're gonna go inside and have a meetup. You guys should come in. Look, they put my name on the sign. <laughs> well, they put the proper pineapple. <laughs> but come on inside, guys. We had so much fun at the meetups. It was so great to meet everybody. Um, Devet, I remember your name. I finally remembered it. It took me a couple of days. Um, I'm sorry it took, this, it took me so long to get this video up. Um, after all the fun, okay, so quick side trail. Last week I fell and injured my rib cage. Um, 
but I powered through for the meetups. But Saturday night when I got home, I was in a ridiculous amount of pain. So I've pretty much been in bed for like two, three days now, just like ice pack chilling. So sorry, but life happens, right? So we had so much fun. The, both the yarn garden and woven art were really great. I mean, we showed up with six children <laughs> and they nobody batted an eye. They were super friendly. Of course, my kids and Al's kids are both very well behaved because otherwise we beat them. No, I'm kidding. They were just really well behaved kids and they all sat and my nose is all itchy already. I haven't done nothing. Oh, my cat meowed. I just thought about her coming over here. She's so fluffy. Hey, you you want to be in the video? You do? You got to come all the way up here. I don't think she's going to do it, guys. Oh, she's not. She left. Okay. Back to what you're here for to see the yarn I bought, right? So we had a ton of fun at both places. I love them both. The yarn garden in Charlotte. Sorry. I was saying it wrong. Um, was just amazing. Oh, my goodness. We adored that store. It was so kitschy and adorable. Had all these like little gnomes everywhere because it was a garden and the owner as you saw in that little clip when I talked to her she refers to herself as the head gardener. Oh Lindsay I absolutely love your store. I'm so coming back. Like you're never going to get rid of me so get used to this and all the pink right. <laughs> so um I'm uh, right now I'm going to show you Al's not here with me but I'm going to pop in photos boop, right over here of the yarn Al bought at both stores and she actually we actually stopped at Michael's too and she bought some stuff I did not that day. I just didn't need any. I was tired and it was the end of the day and I was in a lot of pain. So, but anyways, so the first place obviously we went to was the yarn garden. Um, and one of the yarn she bought is the gorgeous one here. And this is um, by Cat Sock Fibers. Cat Sock Fibers was having a trunk show there. You guys know I love Cat Sock Fibers. She has this beautiful purpley color I adore. Anyways, we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, it is, the colorway is called Heart. So, so pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, it is a super wash, 100% super wash, fingering 400 yards to 100 grams. So pretty. And Al actually got this one because she picked out this skein of yarn, which is by Dream Color to Life. It is called Simone and Susan. It is an 8525 super wash nylon. Um, the base is called their smooshy base, which I love. I'm reading all the details here, guys. Uh, it is 420 yards for, okay, 420 yards. So she first picked this one out and then she walked by Cat Sock Fibers and I was like, uh, that first color totes goes with this. And she was like, yep. So this is what she bought at the yarn garden. And next we headed over to Woven Art Yarn Shop in East Lansing, which was so much fun. They have so much Malabrigo there. I love Malabrigo. But anyways, so she bought this beautiful Malabrigo here. She bought two skeins of it. It's so, so pretty. It is, um, the colorway Indonesia and it's on a super, there's their super wash merino sock base, 440 yards. Super, super pretty. And let's see, she said, let me, cause she told me what she does, she did with these things. <laughs> uh, okay. The, all of these really nice ones um, from uh, da -da, da -da, Yarn Garden and Woven Art, she's gonna make shawls out of. And then she went by, um, we went by Michael's and she bought these yarns. She actually bought three different colors. Um, so that I just, somewhere in here they're changing color. And she bought these to make cat hats for American Girl dolls. She loves doing that and they're so cute and adorable you guys. Sometime I'll show you one. So, so much fun. Um, and then after that, Kim from Chasing Acorns was there. Hi, Kim. And so we headed outside. And of course, Kim always brings her bags because she knows me and Al are totally addicted and can't stop buying her stuff. She's like our dealer. We even met in the parking garage and like we were buying bags out of her trunk. <laughs> we looked like it was a dealer. It was crazy. We were like, shh. And we're like digging through. Whatever, Kim, we love your stuff. We'll buy it out of your trunk. It's cool. Um, and Al got um, this cute bag here with these adorable deer. Deer, I believe it's a pastel pink color. And then she also got this green one with deer too. Really, really, really cute. So that is what Al bought, which is so pretty. And it was so much fun hanging out with Al. Al's so good with everybody, isn't she? Al? She was all like friendly with all the people. I was all like, you know, taken in by the yarn. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And she's like, Holly. People talk to them. I'm like, oh, people, hi. <laughs> that 
That's just me, guys. Easily distracted. So now let's talk about what I got at the yarn stores. So first, let me get the little bag here. Bam. Let me set it over here. Uh, first was from Woven Art Yarn. Or not Woven Art. First was uh, the Yarn Garden. She had so many colors. And so many. I'm looking at my husband. So much yarn. I wanted. You, you could ask him. I ran around the store. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I want that. But I ended up buying yarn um, from the trunk show there the, at the uh, the Cat Sock Fibers because, you guys, I told you she has a pinky purple. I simply adore it. I'm actually using it in my Free Your Fade shawl that I cast on on Christmas Eve. She had two more of them. I don't know if you can hear me squeal, but this is, like, <laughs> this is my color, you guys. Look at this. There we go. There, now that's a little more, that's a little blown out. Right there is about the color. It's this stunning, get back here. Yeah, right there. That's about perfect. This stunning purple with pink tonal. I adore this. So this is, um, it's cat sock fibers. Let me put a little card up here for y'all to see. If I put it real big. Give it 10 seconds to focus because my camera is being a jerk and won't focus on nothing. There we go. Cat sock fibers and I'll spin it. Cat Sock Fibers. There's a little code even to take you right to her website. This is her, focus on me camera. This is her fingering weight, 400 yards. And it's called Carrie Hope. I love this color. And actually, besides my Free Your Fade, I have two other shawls that I'm designing that this is going to be in, you guys. So you're going to see a lot of this color. Isn't this color me, though? I'm telling you, this year, 2019... The year of pink and purple. Mostly pink, but this purple gets in everything too. <laughs> this this is the only purple I love, you guys. I don't love other purples. I'm not like a, ooh, lavender. Or no, this. This color right here. This is my life. And then she had uh, some of her Christmas colorways that were special for this year that she won't be replicating for next year. And I know when I show you this, I'm going to get some haters in the comments. Because I have said on this channel <laughs> that I don't like brown. And I stick by that. Nine times out of ten, I don't like brown. But I saw this skein. So adorable. Again, it's her fingering, or I'm sorry, it's her um it's fingering weight, but it's her tweed. And it's 438 yards and it's called Cookie Swap. Cookie swap, you guys. Look at Cookie Swap. Now I know, I know what you're saying, but Holly, it's a brown. I totally agree with you guys. It is, but look, it's got little flecks of red and orange and some blacks. I don't know. It was sitting there and it kept yelling at me to take it home. And I was like, okay, you're not going to fit in with all your friends, but come on home with me. <laughs> so, and that's not even the worst. There might be a little bit more brownish color later. But so this is the three skeins I got from um, the yarn garden. I will definitely be going back. I chose to buy from just the cat sock fiber at the time because she was doing a trunk show there. Next time I go, oh, there's so much more I'm going to buy. I gotta get another job, you guys, but look at these pretty colors. So, so pretty. They don't go together, obviously. Ugh. Now that would be an ugly shawl. But anyways, so pretty. I love them. Cannot wait to go back. Let me set that down. And then next we headed over to Woven Art in East Lansing. I got this little bag. Okay. So, first off, let's just get this right out of the way. I bought some Malabrigo. It is their sock, 440 yards. Um, it's called Sand Bank. Yep. It's a brown. <laughs> but this brown, if you look, it's kind of really kind of a gray brown with a very slight tonal quality to it. And I actually really thought to myself that this would go great with like kind of tone down some of my craziness. I really did like this. So who knows, guys, maybe I'm turning a corner. Maybe I like brown. I don't know. But that's actually the second skein I picked out. The first one, again, is a Malabrigo because I cannot go to a store without Malabrigo and not buy at least one skein. I love that stuff. And this is their Mecha base, and it is the color Atomic. And it is a fingering weight, 100% uh, superwash, 420 yards. And I'm sorry, this one, I don't... Hmm, yep, this one was superwash too, if I didn't say that. So, and this one's my favorite. It's called Atomic. Right? Did I say that? Atomic. Do you guys see this crazy color? Let me get it up close. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. 
Isn't it absolutely insane? It has got pink, it's got purple, it's got blues, it's got yellows, it's got orange, it's got like the entire world. It is like almost all my favorite colors got together and just exploded on a skinny yarn is what this looks like. Like, and I love it so much. Actually, I have plans to make a two-color shawl, and I have ordered some yarn that isn't here yet, but I will tell you about it when it gets here. And one of the skeins is to go with this. It's going to be amazing. But look at that color, you guys. It's crazy. I love it so, so, so much. And last was my absolute favorite skein. I know, you guys. I'm a bright, hot pink person, but when I saw this color, I was like, uh, I need this. It is a Madeline Tosh. It is actually their Tosh Merino Light with Hollow Glitter. Which, glitter just got me, but then Hollow Glitter. And it is the color... Well, hold on. First, it's 90% Merino Wool, 8% Acrylic, and 2% Stellina. It is fingering weight, 420 yards, and it is the color Copper Pink. Oh, look at this skein. I'm going to have to kind of like squish it up and show you guys. I sure hope the hollow glitter comes in on this. There we go. Oh, it is. Look at that, you guys. It is so... It is about a hundred times more sparkly in person than it is on this film. It is this gorgeous, like, ro dusty rose coppery color. I love this. The I, My one regret is I didn't buy two of these because then once I got it home, I was like, I want to make a giant shawl with just this color and wear it. But luckily, Mr. Pineapple said I can order another one. So two, will, and I'll get another one. I'll make a big. Scene. But it's so pretty, you guys. It is. I, let me see if I can try to get this. Come on, focus again. One more time for me, camera. One more time. You know you want to. But even when it's not focused, can you? Can guys? It's not gonna focus. Nope, it's not. But it is so. There's so much glitter in this, and it's hollow glitter, which is so fun. So those were the three skeins I got from that store. I did buy one more thing. I didn't go to Michael's, but I did buy this at the Woven Arts. Well, I did go to Michael's, but you guys, seriously, my rib cage, it's still hurting today. But that day, by the time it was Michael's, I'm literally in Michael's like, okay, don't pass out. <laughs> Just smile. <laughs> Make it through the day. My son, my monkey, he pointed these out to me. Um, if Okay, everybody, raise your hand if you have children, and all of a sudden, all your scissors are gone. Like every, a double time. All of them. I've got like 500 pairs of scissors. I don't think anybody owns more scissors than me. I don't know where any of them are. They're just gone all the time. So I said I need a new scissors. And I was looking at these cute little tiny copper ones, which I might go back for. And my son brought me these. Let me see if I can get that to focus on it, you guys. There we go. Yes, you guys. Look. It's a unicorn and it's Horner scissors. <laughs> it's a And it's like rainbow titanium. Oh, I love this so much. I haven't even taken them out of the package. Mostly because I have to cut them out of the package. And I don't know where any scissors are to do that. So, I might just leave that little loop on there. But that is what I bought. You guys, I had so much fun. Um, I will be planning more meetups. Obviously, I'll try to get down, you know, maybe in Indiana. Oh! Husband was pointing out, I told you earlier, that Kim from Chasing Acorns was there. And we were out in the parking garage buying... <laughs> crafting bags like it was some sort of drug it was ridiculous so I bought some too of course <laughs> because I love Kim so the first one I bought is this one look it's actually got to turn it this way because the cars are the look at it they're little food trucks you guys look at these isn't that adorable and each little food truck is completely different I get that last one in there so so cute I love her bags they're always lined in a nice like waterproof lining on the inside I love the little like scrunch i've got a ton of her bags there's one back here right now and my other two are down there and now i've got two more so this one was the first one i got this one's a nice big one i like big bags and i cannot lie <laughs> but <laughs> if anybody got that you're old like me but anyways but um i had to get this one she said this is the last one she has in this print and i almost died it's a teeny weeny one but look at the llamas and cactuses, I think. Palm trees? Yeah, there's palm trees. But look at that. Isn't that so cute? This is a small one. I mean, still big enough to put in, like, possibly a two-skein shawl. Plenty big enough. It's got this lovely bright green lining. Love that. 
So these are my two bags from Kim. You guys have to check her out. I love it. Um, Sometimes she doesn't have a lot of stuff in her Etsy store, but if you just write her, she usually has stuff. She just hasn't listed or she's she is a very busy woman, you guys. Just write her and ask her. It, she does custom orders too. She Al custom ordered this bag for me for Christmas to be super duper. Let me undo it so you can appreciate it here. But to be super duper tall, let me show you. So this is the shorty and this is the tall bag. And as you can see, my cat, my bag's a little like, what do you say, two inches taller there? About two inches taller because this is for my Tunisian hook. She asked her to make it extra long to fit a Tunisian crochet hook in it. So Kim is so sweet. She totally doesn't mind doing custom orders. Check her out. Tell her Holly sent you and that Holly wants more bags. But anyways, <laughs> don't tell Mr. Pineapple. <laughs> um, so we had so much fun. We're definitely planning more meetups. Um, definitely meetups here in Michigan because I'm a Michigander. But also, um, I'm not too far from Indiana. And I might, might, don't quote me, be persuaded to go to Ohio sometime. <sighs> but, you know, Michigan and Ohio, we don't exactly get along. But, <laughs> but anywho, we had a blast. If you guys are ever in Charlotte, please go and check out uh, Lindsay at the Yarn Garden. I loved it there. Um, one thing that I should let you know, let me, oop, I got to get to my message because in that interview I did with her, I asked her questions, but I got so distracted because she is so much fun to talk to. And okay, here we go. They have, um, knit nights, which you can also crochet. You don't have to just be a knitter on Tuesday nights from five ish to eight ish and Wednesday afternoons from two ish to four ish. She says heavy on the ish. <laughs> So if you're out that way, go hang out. It's so comfortable. It's so fun. I loved it so, 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 so much. And if you're ever in East Lansing, definitely go check out Woven Art. It's more of a modern-y place. So for me, I, I prefer kind of more like the rustic-y stuff, which is kind of what I would feel like the yarn garden was. But it's a beautiful store. The lady is so, so nice. I met wonderful people there. It was wonderful. You definitely got to go check them out. Both of these places have websites that I will link down below. And again, you guys, next time I have a meetup, I will try to plan it a little further out so you guys can make accommodations for that. And I look forward to meeting more of you. Thank you for everybody who did come. Kim, thanks for the bags. I love them. Anyways, I gotta get out of here now, guys. Bye.